The core standards for 7th grade geometry read, draw, construct, and describe geometrical figures and describe the relationships between them. Draw freehand with ruler and protractor and with technology, geometric shapes with given conditions. Focus on constructing triangles from three measures of angles or sides, noticing when the conditions determined a unique triangle, more than one triangle or no triangle. When students can use graphics toolbox to draw colorful geometric shapes, not only do they have more fun, but middle school students can learn to draw them very precisely and truly remember their attributes more effectively. All shapes can be drawn in graphics toolbox, but today I will concentrate on drawing triangles since those are the ones mentioned in the core standards, and we will classify them by their sides. Let's go back to graphic toolbox. I'm going to clear away everything here so that we have room to make some large colorful triangles. Now, when we make the triangles, it's fun to do them in color. It's fun to do, I'm gonna do them actually with a, lot, a very thick pen width so we can see it on this big drawing area. And I want you to watch the feedback area here as I'm drawing the lines. When I take the line tool and I drag it, you can see that it's showing me here how high the line is how wide the line is, and then this shows me how long the line is. So if I wanted a line that was 5 inches long, I would drag this until I see that diagonal line showing 5 inches, which I have right now, and I'm going to left click again. Now this function allows me to keep drawing continuously attached lines, so it's perfect for drawing triangles. And as I drag this out again, my first triangle that I'm drawing is an isosceles triangle, which means that it has two equal sides. So I'm dragging this back to also be 5 inches, and I'm going to be really precise because now that the kids are in middle school, they can draw with real precision and um, be very accurate with drawing these triangles. That was also 5 inches, and now if I just connect the first point and the last point, I've created a very accurate and colorful isosceles triangle. Now if I want to draw a scalene triangle, I'm going to watch those line lengths again but this time I'm going to be watching it to make sure that no two are the same. So the first one was about five and a half, this one is about 2.8, and this last one is 7.2. So that qualifies as a scaling triangle because no, no two sides are the same. Lastly, we're going to make an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle means that each of the sides are the same length and each of the angles are the same, and that angle needs to be 60 degrees. So as I draw the first line, and let's say I'm going to be making that 4 inches. Now my next line not only has to be 4 inches, but it has to have also a 60 degree angle between those two lines. So I'm going to be watching this area. And here it's showing me what the inside angle is. The blue area is showing me the outside angle. So I'm concerned about the inside angle being 60. So I'm watching that number until I get it to 60. And I still want the length to be 4. So I'm carefully going down to 4. I have to open it up a little again now to 60. And this is where you want the students to really take their time, be careful with how they move the mouse, and be very accurate. That's perfect right there. Now naturally, if I connect the first point with that last point, I'm going to have 60 degrees again, because it's going to have to be 60 degrees if we have 60 degrees for the first two lines. So we have now created an equilateral triangle. Once they understand how to precisely draw these triangles, just let them go and have fun creating their own graphics and their own designs with triangle patterns. Everyone's will look different. You'll turn a math lesson into a way for them to express their own ideas, and you can save them to hang up in the classroom, the hall, or display at an upcoming school event. And wouldn't it be fun for the students to take a triangles test this way? You don't care what color they use to fill in the triangles, you just want to know that they can classify them properly. They learn how to use a key, and everyone's tests will look different. Another way for them to express their own individuality while learning important core content. I hope I've been able to show you a meaningful representation of how valuable Graphics Toolbox is in the classroom, how it will help you to meet core curriculum standards, and how vital this technology is for preparing your students to be competitive in this highly visual world. I hope that you'll also see that the possibilities are endless on how Graphics Toolbox can be implemented across all subjects, with all ages and at all learning levels. 
You can see more projects and learn more at our website at www.greatsoftwaretools.com. Now, as passionate as we are to help schools integrate this valuable technology into their classrooms, we are equally dedicated to helping people learn to use Graphic Toolbox. A perfect way to get started is with our Getting Started with Graphics Toolbox tutorial videos. They take you step by step through four popular projects. They run about 45 to 60 minutes long, but are set up in chapters so you can stop and start as needed. We suggest that you have the video and the Graphics Toolbox open at the same time. Watch part of the video, pause it, toggle to Graphic Toolbox, try out the technique, then go back to the video and watch more. People have found these to be a great way to learn the program. We've also begun creating downloadable project kits that teachers and schools can buy that provide them with the files, templates, and complete instructions for creating valuable curriculum projects. They are a great way to learn Graphics Toolbox while creating projects that meet core curriculum standards. Thank you for attending our webinar and we hope to have the opportunity to talk with you personally about helping your school integrate Graphics Toolbox into your curriculum. Call or email us for further information and pricing. Thank you.